Comedy Store, how we feel? Make some fucking noise. You guys excited to be here? One more time for Gary Cannon. Let him hear. Gary Cannon, that's a funny guy. He's getting surgery tonight. He'll be a woman by 8 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, welcome to the uh, Dr. Phil Live Show. You guys excited to be here? We got a good one for you. It's going to be a good one. Got some surprises, some uh, special guests. Now, tonight, uh, this show is all about trust, okay? That's a theme of tonight's show. And whether that means uh, trusting your child uh, to get his homework done by the time you're done beating him, or uh, if that's trusting your wife to bring the proper veggie tray to the gangbang, uh, it's got to be earned, okay? You got to take your time and build that relationship, you know? I trust my wife, Robin, when she makes a turkey pot pie that 10 minutes is long enough, even though Rachel Ray says do it in six. And uh, I just got to trust that she's not going to, you know, fuck up my pie and turn it into some sort of diarrhea meat treat. My wife Robin's here tonight. Give it up for her. She's, uh, she's excited for Halloween, which we all are. Who's excited for Halloween? It's maybe the only time, it's maybe the only time of the year that uh, you can dress up like a, like a slutty bat. Yep, we've got one slut getting ready back there. Robin's excited for Halloween. I'm thinking I might go as the uh, Britney Spears knife video. Boy, she looks tired, huh? <laughs> the dancing in that video is dog shit. The knife work, <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> she looks tired, though. I feel bad. I've been that tired. I see Brit. I see the saggy bags, okay? I know. I, I've been there. I try to put myself in your shoes, okay, when you're going through something publicly like that. Last time I was that tired is when I was Googling how to make my wife come. I fell asleep at the laptop. <laughs> But today's show is going to be a blast. It's all about trust. And I've got a lot of people in my life that I trust. A lot of people I don't trust, okay? I don't trust my Peloton trainer. I don't trust myself at a Rainforest Cafe with a gift card. Um, you know, I don't trust my cat, Elizabeth Perkins. And, uh, but one person I do trust is one of my best friends, uh, an investor of this show, a producer, and, uh, and one of my dearest friends. And he's here tonight to help us kick off this show. Are you guys excited for your first guest on tonight's Dr. Phil Live Show? I know you can do better than that. Are you guys excited? We got a special show for you in three. We got a special show. It's a good one. Come on, clap, you piece of shit. Are you excited to be here tonight? Absolutely. What's your name? Alex. Alex, how much weed did you eat before tonight's show? Uh, I, didn't, I didn't eat weed. Yeah, I don't think anybody believes you based on that response. Uh, that's what you just fucking said. All right, well, weed's fine. Blink-182, you probably ingested some edibles, yeah? Uh, yeah, okay, yes, we would have accepted, yeah. Let's go ahead and take that pause as a yes. What about you, sir? Asian Jay Leno? Let's go. Stand up real quick. Show the audience your denim. Come on, stand up. You stand up or I'm gonna kick you the fuck out. Stand up. Stand up. Turn around. Do a 360. Turn around, sir. Hey, sir. Full 360. Full 360. Stand up. Get your fucking ass out of that chair right now, goddammit. Turn around. All the way around. Look at that guy. Yep. Was I right or was I right? Okay. Thanks for being here tonight. Are you stony baloney? A little. Yep. There we go. Well, thanks for coming out. I realize it's a lot for you to be outside right now. <laughs> Try to keep it together. All right, here's uh, my first guest, my producer, my best friend, Reginald Fontaine the Third. Let him hear it right now, you guys. Come on. Here he is. Yeah. Okay, I thought we were gonna talk about props. <laughs> Reginald is uh, obviously, uh, money is not an issue for him. He's probably, my he's probably my richest friend other than Mark Wahlberg. How much money do you have, Reg? Billions. <laughs> All right, send me an email. Doug and Phil, it's lovely to see you here today. I believed in this young chap. When he had nothing to his name, and I put everything on black, well, white, and... We'll probably edit that out. Keep going. 
And it paid off. He has his own show here in the comedy store. Isn't it paying off, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, it's going pretty good so far. It's going okay. Now, Reg, I do want to know, we've been friends for about 22 years, okay? A lot of ups and downs. The ebbs and flow of life, okay, they get tricky. And, and you've made a lot of uh, great choices. Is that going to fall off? Do you need a couple minutes? What's going on? Somehow my monocle has been tickled in Somebody has got to do this inside of my mustache. You go ahead and turn around. I'll take it from here. So, guys, when I was a young boy, uh, my dream was to be a talk show host. And I said, one day I'm either going to be on TV or I'm going to... I'm gonna be the first one to hear Oprah queef live. And I did both, I did both. Yeah, some of you are like, Oprah doesn't queef. All right, well, I'll sit down. I got a couple stories for you. We'll be right back. We'll keep it right here. Reg, you ready? Now, Reginald, one thing you don't deal with is a lack of adventure. And you told me recently you went on a, an excursion, a travel, an eat, pray, love type of trip for yourself because you and your whore ex-wife couldn't see eye to eye. And I actually hit her up on LinkedIn and she gave me her camera, uh, Reginald, which is one of my favorite things is to go through people's memories, okay? Whether it's live in the flesh or post-trip. So she sent me her camera and I've got all your pictures from your vacay. I'd love to go through and see if you can kind of help us, uh, you know, open up to, to new, new ideas and new thoughts because I think we all get stuck in our bubble, right? I mean, you're, you're stuck in your bubble. What do you do right now? I'm sitting here. Right, I don't think I like your fucking attitude right now, if I'm being honest. <laughs> All right, what about Tattoo City? You guys both got tats. You got tats on your necks. Oh my God, I've never seen such common folk in my life. Well, a tattoo is a sign of intelligence, Reginald. But uh, you got, what do you got tattooed on your left arm there, sir? What's your name? What's up, Casey. Casey. And, and Casey, what is that? It looks like a skull fucking a, a torch. What is that? Exactly that. Hell yeah. And who's this? Nicole. Nicole, what do you have tattooed across your neck that bleeds down to your boobs? Permanent jewelry. Permanent jewelry. Okay, so it's cheaper to get the ink than it is to buy, than to have Casey step up to the plate and be a real man. Is that right? We'll be right back. We'll keep it right here. Uh, thanks for coming out. I'm, I'm envious and I'm jealous and I'm deflecting because I only have one tattoo, uh, the cast of Space Jam on my taint, ladies. Reginald, I want to go ahead and pull up your photos. Now, now, now before I do this, uh, you said you were drunk and you don't remember uh, your wife taking your camera, is that true? I have no recollection of these photos whatsoever. So you're telling me that you have not seen the photos that are about to come on screen ever before. I've never seen these photos. I was blacked out during that vacay. So the, the photos that are about to be put on the screen here uh, that are not photoshopped and that are real adventures of yours, you've never seen ever, is that right? I promise I've never seen these photos before. Unbelievable. All right. A little alarm, to be honest. Well, you know, it's what well, you live an exciting life, and we just like to see a little piece of it. Steven, let's go ahead and put that first photo up. So this is Reginald's... <laughs> Reginald's... This is the starting off of your vacation. What was happening here, Reginald? That looks like you and a fat little... Uh, well, that looks like a young Asian Jay Leno before he grew into puberty. That's... I didn't know you liked Uno so much. That's actually the child's name is also Uno. <laughs> well, I do want to adopt, so I have more questions about that. But we can talk over Facebook later tonight. Let's see the next slide, Stephen. So what's happening here? Uh, you know, I got in a fight with a bartender. I called him a scallywag. Only tipped him $100. And then I'd say, I'll fuck your wife better than you, you little bitch. Yeah, that's usually the, the grounds for a fight, right? Now, what is your go-to move? Because if you're gonna tell someone you can fuck better, what do you usually, you gotta pull out all the stops, right, my man? And you look like someone that knows how to, you know, bang a ring hook style, right? What, what would be your go-to move in the bedroom if you're trying to impress someone's lady friend? Doggy style. Yeah. His, vo his voice trembled a little bit. Yeah, your voice trembled, yeah. Your voice trembled like you might usually be on the receiving end and not the giving end of that. Which is fine, hey, which is totally fine. We've all done it. Raise your hand if you've done it. I'll put mine down and I'll put it right back up, because I have. I don't see color. Let's see the next slide, Stephen. Holy shit, what the fuck's going on here? What, you've never pleasured yourself in a Bellagio hotel before? I have. Next slide, Stephen. Oh, look at that. That's you and NBA star Tony Kukoc at a Denny's. How did this come about? Things got fucked that night, all right? <laughs> Where the fuck do you meet Tony Kukoc, let alone coerce him to rolling with you to a Denny's? <laughs> well, we went to this strip club called Peppermint Rhino, and yep. things got really out of hand. 
Sure. And basically, I thought this woman was a man and the man was actually a woman. And then I was like, well, do you want to come to Denny's? And she's like, yes, I'm about to start working there, actually. <laughs> it was a whole night and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh my God, is that Tony Kukoc? <laughs> Tony Kukoc was actually popping it and locking it on the stripper pole. He actually hasn't worked in a while. My man, do you mind, uh, you mind uh, coming up here real quick for the front of the stage? I got a quick Tony Kukoc question for you. Turn around, show the audience your fucking wardrobe tonight. You look like Super Mario's mechanic. Um, yes. yes. What, is, what is your name, sir? My name's Steve. Your name's Steve. Well, Steve, yeah, it's a fake 100, but you can have it. Or is it real? It's real, you can have one. Yeah, you want to give it to him? Yes, go ahead. Here you go. Well, it's a real $100 bill. Yes, well, congrats. You didn't think that was going to happen, yeah. Yeah, you just got a one-up in Mario World, yeah? All right, so turn around for me real quick so people can see. So what, uh, Tony Kukoc, there's no right or wrong answer. Turn around, turn around, Steven. That way, there you go. So what does Tony Kukoc say? Sorry, I couldn't be here tonight. Okay, what else does he say? <laughs> All right, that's it. You can sit down, Steven. God fucking damn it. Oh. I should have trusted my instincts. Never that, talk to someone who looks like they got kicked off a double dare for touching the kids. All right. That, that, <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Next slide, Steven. Oh, yeah, here we go. Now, how did this come about? Because uh, T Swift, as we all know, put Travis Kelsey on the map. That's fucking bullshit. He was here already, bitch. If you know anything about football, T Kelsey has been here. But how many Swifties we got now that we're on the subject? Yeah, sir, you love Taylor Swift? I do, good Yeah, what do you love about T Swift, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, not a lot, honestly. Not a lot, yeah. <laughs> well, you really pant. You weren't expecting a follow up question, were you? <laughs> All right. Now, how did this come about, Reginald, real quick? What was this? Uh, you're in a suite with T Swift and T Kells. Well, as you know, I'm a financier for th projects that I believe in. And Taylor Swift has a movie coming out very soon with her world tour. And right. let's just say I was one of the backers of that. Oh, good for you. So you're putting your money where your mouth is, yeah. You like to always donate and give back, and I appreciate that. Let's see the last slide. I think you have been giving back more than you've... Uh... Okay, well, you're holding some ping pong balls, which looks to be at a strip club. Now, how did you get those balls, uh, Original? Well, I... <laughs> I forgot you haven't seen these pictures before. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen these pictures. What I like to do is sometimes my pee pee does not work down there. So I like to put fake balls when the women are grinding on them so they realize that I still like them. It's not me. I just am impotent in the bedroom at times. I think many fellas can relate. Fellas, how many of you struggle uh, with trying to get it up? How many of you, first of all, uh, fuck to weird songs? You know what I'm saying? Because that sometimes is an issue. Sir, what's your go-to lovemaking song? What do you put on when the mood strikes? Maybe some OMC's How Bizarre or the Home Depot theme song? Chumbawamba? Chumbawamba's Tub Thumbin. Tiny Dancer. Or what? Tiny Dancer. Tiny, can you confirm? What? No, she's like, no, he usually does it with deafening silence and I have to hear his body grinding up and down my legs. <laughs> Reginald, I appreciate you coming by. And, uh, I'm surprised your shit stayed on, uh, but good luck in all your future endeavors. We might see you later in the show, okay? Sounds fantastic. Give it up one more time. Don't you feel Thank you so much, Reginald. Thank you. you watch yourself back there. He's a big gambler. One more time for Reginald Fontaine the third. We've got uh, two very important people coming out in just a few minutes. We're going to take a quick commercial break. And coming up next, Adam Devine and Anders Holm, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Mike Lindell, owner and founder of the MyPillow. Heard of it? We all have trouble sleeping. There's so many things that keep us up at night. Uh, I can't pay the bills. Uh, I jerked off the Fox News and now I'm exhausted. Uh, I can't come up with an award-winning chowder recipe. That's why I invented the MyPillow. Hit me. Look at this son of a bitch. Mm. You can sleep on it, you can eat on it, you can eat your wife's pussy on it, you can let somebody eat your wife's pussy on it, you can put it between your legs, you can sit on it like a beanbag chair, or you can just put it on top of your head and go, hey, I got a new hat. Everyone goes, look at that stylish, look at that guy, I bet he fucks. Right now, you, we're having a 20% a off sale for anybody who supports martial law. What is that? Is that where you go to Marshalls and you get 10% off the picture frames? No, you fucking these things feel like, like just like baby feet. Oh, 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 heroin hiccup. The my pillow. It's my pillow, but it's your pillow. It's technically my pillow. So if I come to your house, ding dong, open the door, 
Give me your fucking pillow. <laughs> Who are you? Mike Lindell, I invented your pillow. It's my pillow. Give it to me. Ha! Ah, where's your wife? Ah. Mm -hmm. We've got all types of pillows. KKK pillows, swastika pillows, pillows with Melania's mouth on them, pillows with Baron's bitch tits, pillows with Trump's, uh, fuck, just his little eyebrows. We've got the Mike Pence fly pillow. We've got pillows for gays, Jews, dwarfs, Latinos, MILFs, and cougars with drinking problems. Operators are standing by. Call us right now so you can swap out your pillow for my pillow and stop sleeping like a fucking loser. Sorry for swearing, I'm just passionate and high. What? Who said that? Ha! Ah! All right, you guys. We're having a good time. We're having a good time. Are you guys ready for your next guest on tonight's Dr. Phil show? I think you can do better than that. Are you guys ready for a couple of rock stars? A couple of legends? Let's fucking go, Casey. Let's fucking go. Do you see that shit? He turned his hand backwards like that. This motherfucker was like, boom, I say my own name when I come. Now, you're next. I like your style. I want to take an Uber pool with you, Casey, at some point. Guys, uh, tonight's show is all about trust, chemistry, friendship, and tonight's guests uh, exemplify that on the highest level. You might know them from a little hit show called Workaholics, possibly. You might know them from their successful podcast, This Is Important, which is on a world tour right now. Movies like The Intern, Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates, Jexy, Muppets from Mayhem, and all sorts of other bullshit that I'll watch butt fucking naked. You guys, make some noise right now for Adam Devine and Anders Holm. Let them hear it. Come on. Wow. There's a little microphone behind you. Never let anyone hey, how's tell it going, everybody? Yeah. Guys, one more time for these couple of well, legends here, huh? There's the VIPs. Hey. I'll see you. Hey, Phil. Good to see you guys. Really good to see you, too. Now, we've, a, we've officially never met, but I've, uh, I've hit you guys up on Facebook quite a bit. You do? Yeah. And, uh, you know, asking you guys if you want to hit the bars, you know, because you guys are known for drinking. We, uh, yeah. Technically, it's Tuesday night, and we demanded a bucket of beers, but they were like, really, tonight? I'm like, yeah. Well, well Tuesday is the new Friday, and who said that? Casey. <laughs> now I know. Well, I want to say this, Adam. You've been a fitness influencer coming up on, what, six years now? Yeah, <laughs> damn near. I don't know if you guys follow Mr. Divine on Instagram, but yeah. yeah. You know what fitness influencing stuff I just got? Mush. You guys heard of mush? The, like, uh, oatmeal? Yeah, dude, they just sent me so much mush. My yeah. wife was like, what the fuck is this, dude? You were just sent a ton of baby food? Yeah. <laughs> well, don't knock, don't knock, it's oatmeal, I like it. First yeah. of all, don't knock baby food because I've been pretty fucked up coming out of the saddle ranch and when I don't have the proper cheese for nachos, take a little bit of Gerber and just slob it on those Doritos. Yeah. Now, I want to ask you guys a couple of questions. Yeah, I think RoboCop ate baby food, too. So RoboCop. Good, good reference, good. Durs. RoboCop. Who's seen RoboCop? At least it, it, it tasted like baby food is what I remember. The kid eats baby food? I said it tasted like baby food. Oh, sure. Is what I remember. All right. We'll edit this out. Now, Durs, I think that... You're, obvi you're hilarious. Both of you guys, no doubt, have, have proven, and it's tough to make it in the comedy game. I mean, just look at Jada Pinkett Smith. She's struggling right now. Right. It's tough to stay relevant. I would say she's killing it. Yeah, she's I think got she's a new book. Kaufmaning the whole situation. Yeah. Yeah, she really has. Now, if you could, let me ask you this since we're here. You guys have met a lot of famous people. Jada Pinkett Smith, I wouldn't say is a dream guest, but I definitely wouldn't mind running into her at a Best Buy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Is there one thing you'd ask her if you were given the chance? Pretend I'm Jada Pinkett Smith. Yeah. All right, we'll, t we'll go for, Adam, you go first. I, I would say, why are you here? Well, thanks for asking me, Adam Devine. Yeah, I've seen your State Farm commercials. Um, yeah, you know what? Well, do they have credits on State Farm commercials? <laughs> yeah. Dang. So, um, hey, so, deep pull, Dr. Phil. That was like 10 years ago. Well, I watch TV. I also know you were in a Taco Bell ad where you had fucking, you got a fiery mouth and it was, well, here's why that Taco Bell ad resonated. Volcano nachos. Whoa. Volcano nachos. So, funny story. Hey, the, hey. 
the, Shut the fuck up, Dr. <laughs> Phil. Do my Volcano Nachos bit. Wow. What do they do, Adam? What do those Volcano Nachos do? Volcano Nachos. <laughs> Changes a man. Thank you so much. Wow. Thanks for coming yeah. out. Thanks for coming out on Tuesday. Wait, is that it? Are you done? <laughs> I thought you said thanks for coming out. You are going to get off stage. Yeah, that, that was it. <laughs> No, I got a bucket of beers and a bunch of chips ahoy, dude. I'm, I'm locked in. Well, you guys are on a... Yeah, yeah this is... This is I got to be honest, this is my favorite night uh, so far that I've had in a long time. It's, you know, I've got kids, but they're older. Uh, you guys got kids. Durs, Adam, you're about to have a kid. Yep. True. Fact. Woo! Let's hear it. So, you can clap. That's fine. Yeah, raise your hand if you have kids. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, they're your out for on a Tuesday night, dude. There's only three people. They got a babysitter. Everybody else is like, oh, fuck that. I love, I love getting drunk on Tuesdays. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, see, even as a dad, when I first became a father, I still went hard in the paint. You know. Okay. I believe that about. I mean, you. I used to blow weed smoke uh, into the fucking, into the onto the kids when they were. Uh, Whoa. Well, you know why I don't believe that, Doctor Phil? Was that you called it weed smoke? <laughs> Yeah. That's a, that's a fucking that that's narc talk. Yeah. Or like, look, this is how the kids talk. I mean, he's they a call doctor, it weed, and, like the and they call it weed smoke. Is that like the medical uh, term for I, it? Well, yeah. Well, I try to look. I'm not a cop, first of all. But I did audition to be one uh, in one of those reenactment shows. Mm -hmm. So were you an actor as a? Oh, I started. Well, a lot of people don't know this. Thanks for asking. Yeah, a lot of people don't know this. I came out to Hollywood, I'm gonna say it was 87, 88, whenever Dennis Eckersley was on top of the world. And, 88. Uh, 88. <laughs> and, uh, and you know, it was, uh, it was a tough time to be an actor. Tom yeah. Selleck and Rob Lowe were, were pretty much doing everything, so yeah. they're only bit parts for... Uh, they were doing everything? Yeah. What was Tom Selleck doing besides Magnum P.I.? Oh shit, I mean, fucking, I don't know. All the shit that fucking rules. <laughs> Fuck yep. you. Can I talk to you, you know, for a second, Durs? You're embarrassing me on my own fucking no, show right now. I just don't remember. No. Dr. Phil, thank I you. I just don't remember. But it was like three minutes of baby. We'll give him that. Yeah, three, three minutes minute of baby. baby. Yeah. And that's just one example. Yeah, Durs. quickly down under. I was just saying if you knew. Durs. Well, look, I'm not a Netflix flicks and chill guy. I'm more of a CBS, KCAL 9, you know, right. over the pants hand job. For sure. Right, type of guy. Yeah. yeah. I see that for you. All right, quick transition. I'm a Hulu and Quaaludes type guy. Uh -huh. Yeah. Just like to zonk out and watch uh, Hulu specific. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Watch Hulu specific programming. I'm now an ex hamster and cook kind of guy. There we go. Yeah. Ex hamster. Now, that's, now, you're bringing up an important subject because porn is something that's, that everybody enjoys but doesn't want to talk about it. Oh, I thought I'd. Yeah, go ahead. I love talking about it. Okay, yeah. great. Let's get into it. Bounce, 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 rap. You have to rap now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was ready. Drop me that beat, player. Bounce. It's a porno beat. Bounce, 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 bounce. Yo, I'm the pizza bounce, delivery bounce, guy. Bounce, Where you looking bounce, for some bounce, pie? Bounce, I've got cheese bounce, and bounce, pepperoni, Hawaiian. Bounce, and bounce, other bounce, stuff. Bounce, porno bounce, specific, porno specific. Bounce, bounce, I can just bounce, leave the pizza here, bounce, or bounce, we can go and grab a beer. A lot of build up. Bounce, 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 but maybe bounce, just let me bounce, know bounce, if I can park on the street bounce, or in your driveway. Uh, okay. Whoa. When is it getting pornographic? Bounce, 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 I've got condoms. Bounce, a psych raw dog. <laughs> but it's also dealer's choice. Whatever consensual way you want to fuck is the way that I'm down for. Actually, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Dude, not, not mad at that. I'm a regular Dan Bilzerian. Yeah. What is that? Dan Bilzerian. Yeah. yeah. You follow that guy on Instagram? I don't. It's all right. Next question, Durs. I, hey, dude, I know who he is, though. No, the one time. Right. <laughs> now, fellas, you're on a fucking massive tour right now. This is important, the podcast. You guys listen to it. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. But, but, but you know, things started way back when. Workaholics, seven seasons. And, hey, let's give a quick shout-out to Kyle Newichek and Blake Anderson, who were a part of this crew. There we are. Yeah. A couple of living fucking legends, if you know what's up. Yeah, they and they, did they, they said no to this, or...? Uh, 
All right, what else we got here? Uh, I think Kyle lives somewhere else, and Blake, uh, well, Blake Blake's and I... very close. Yeah, he's <laughs> real close. Just down the road. Oh, he told me you live far. Well, it's good. just getting back into it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you guys met, uh, what was it? You met, take us back, and you don't have to give us the whole story, but you guys met, because I want to know about the friendship, the way it developed. It was special, no? No. All right. Yeah, no, it's a, it no, was a business it was, agreement. Uh, we met, what well, Jersey and I met, and I remember my, I had a, just had this, like, a uh, chick roommate, woman, sorry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, easy we were, yeah, Sorry, we were like, I'm lost. This, we were, is, yeah. this is 2023, we don't yeah. say chick no more. I like chick. Yeah, I know you do. Um, <laughs> but this human female, and uh, she, we didn't know each other that well, and she goes, uh, she, I, my car had broken down. Uh -oh. And I was doing uh, classes at the Second City, which used to be right next to the Improv Comedy Club on Melrose. Yep. And Hey, let's not applaud that. We're here at the comedy store. Fuck yeah. that place. Uh, I like yeah. it though. But we were there, and uh, afterwards, I was like, I gotta talk to Durs. He's so funny. We have to write something together. And so then she saw me like Miranda up to him, being like, Miranda. Yeah. Miranda. Wait, yeah. hold on a second. This is how you Miranda. You go. Wait. I had swishy bangs. This is Bieber days. I was like, Yeah. What's up? Hey, do you want to write comedy together? And I was and like, I was like. I mean, like, yeah, we could do that. Yeah. I think we would be good at writing comedy together. <laughs> yeah. And then I got in the, wow. my roommate had to pick me up, this chick, and, uh, and then she goes, are you fucking that guy? <laughs> and I was like, oh, I hope I, I, hope I fuck that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, here's the script. We're fucking a lot in this <laughs> yeah. script. Huh. You weren't even supposed to be in. Wow, you wrote a whole script and it just says, and we start fucking now. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a rap, a guy, it's a delivery guy. And... It is a rap. <laughs> no, we're not going to put him you... the okay. No, we're not going to put him through that. All right. We're not putting him through that. Well, so look, it's tough to form a bond with anybody, but I think it's safe to say that once you find that special connection, as you guys have done, the sky's the limit. You know, you look at workaholics, you look at Game Over, man. You guys just continue to fuck comedy uh, in the right ways. Do you know thank what I'm saying? You. Sure. Yeah, thank you. Now, what's the best? Tell me this, because on this tour, it's it's live, but obviously you got you got fans all over the country. You got a shit ton of fucking fans here tonight. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Woo. Yeah. You got it. Woo. You got it? Woo! Yes! <laughs> Fuck! The fervor! Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh boy. I just get fucking jacked on a Tuesday night. <laughs> All these fans out here, a bucket of beers at my side, doesn't get any better than this. The energy is palpable. Yeah. The energy Thank is... You guys. Yeah. Pregnant wife at home. Well, there's reason to be excited. First of all, have you seen my man Steven over here with the sunglasses yeah. and the uh, yeah, goatee? Sure. Yeah. Don't think I didn't clock that right away. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I know my boy, Dr. Phil's chatting him up. Oh. <laughs> Talking oh, to him about his medical ailments. Yeah. Oh, right? I think he's got a sprained fibula somewhere in that body. Yeah. But so. Steven, uh, you know, Steven and I, we, we play Mario Kart a lot. Well, that, I'm glad you said that because he looks fast. That guy's built for speed. Yeah. He's, he's definitely been down Rainbow Road a couple times. Yeah, he has. Do you guys have crazy fans? I know you've, uh, yeah? <laughs> Run! What's the craziest thing someone's done to you? What? Uh, let me rephrase this. <laughs> what sort of fun fan stories? Hey. Uh, I fucked one. Oh yeah? Yeah. It's my wife. Your wife? <laughs> Uh, Good ending to that story. No, I'd say the, the craziest Man. thing that ever happened to me, and I, I, I might have told this story before I have. Um, I, I, this girl baked me cupcakes way back in the day, like season one of Workaholics. And I was doing a show, and she came out afterwards. She's like, I brought, you, I brought you all these cupcakes. I'm like, that is sweet. My God, look at the spoils of success. Right. 
Jesus. Is this is only going to get better from here? <laughs> yeah. Or am I peaking? Is this like pre-Sprinkles era, post-Sprinkles era? Great question, Dirk. Well, the year was 2011, early. Okay, so this is like... Maybe May. Peak Sprinkles. Yeah, so she brought her own home-baked, and I'm like, is there weed it's in here? She's like, no, and I'm like, bitch. Right. But, but I was like, okay, I'll take your, your cupcakes. So I took them home. I took one, I uh, ate, ate it, bit into it. Mm. A full-on tendril of her hair, dude. She like got a haircut and then baked it into the cupcake. There's no, she for sure just pulled that out of her scalp. <laughs> That's a I crazy mean, person. Maybe, but when I saw her, I was like, well, this girl has a fashionable cut. Oh, she looked like the, the crazy Barbie? From the yeah, movie. I was like, I was like, she seems fun. Yeah. That's a striking hairdo. <laughs> What did it taste like? Pretty protein rich. Yeah. Yeah, a hair. See, I've I've gotten sent a lot of uh, my fans send me uh, uh, or fans send me uh, more uh, p uh, pubes. Um, okay. I don't get a, I don't get a lot of above the neck hair, but yeah. But my I fans are wild, you know. Yeah. Okay. That is. Why wild. are you trying to one up me like that, Doctor Phil? I just. And what is the vehicle with which they send them? Ziploc bag. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. So they're more like, hey, this is my pubes. Enjoy this. My fans like to Trojan horse their hair into my body. But they know that you're just going to gobble, gobble. Oh, no. I, 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 have, uh, I, I haven't eaten, eaten pubes in a long time. Uh, <laughs> But, but what I have done is watched a lot of your guys' shit, and uh, oh, yeah. it's tough to make me laugh. It's tough to make... What makes you guys laugh? Uh, Hold that like, thought, Adam. Durs? Man, what makes me laugh uh, besides this guy right here? Oh, shit. A lot of things. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's filling up with comedy blood. Oh, boy. Yes! <laughs> he gonna pop! What makes me laugh? Uh, God, just like go scrolling through my own old Instagram videos and being like, you had it. <laughs> That's when you had it. And then somewhere along you the line, it's it, like, yeah. where'd it go? Yeah. It's just gone. Do we, think, do we think it's the New Balances? Do we think? Anything's possible. Yeah, I don't know. That being said, New Balance, feel free and send me some more stuff and we'll find out. Yeah. Oh shit, you've you been know? put on blast, NB. You know? Uh, now, Durs, you are dressed like a, a swim coach. Um, <laughs> Wait, Wait so well, I've never seen like competitive swimming besides the Olympics. The, that's it, that's the top. Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't get better than that. But there's coaches yelling hup, and yeah. what does hup mean? It's swim just, faster? It just, it just means like, go. Well, why don't swim. you just say go? Because like, you're gonna, you're gonna run out of steam. It's too much, it's too big of an exhale. Try it. Try three goes and then try three. Hup! Okay, so these swim coaches are underwater? I feel like they need no, to be. No, no, no. This is like for that specifically. These guys are just holding a brick underwater. I've never like, been to a swim meet. It's never been to a swim meet. This is specifically for breaststroke. Okay. And Same. then when you. So it's. Hup! Hup! And when you get to the turn and there's like a little more time that they're gonna hear you go. <laughs> well, and so then they're gone. And now I know. Yeah, so it's pretty sick. Well, see, my favorite part about uh, hey, Durs and his love of swimming guys. is how much he's unwavering his love. Yeah. He is a decade plus of, like, when we're talking about stuff, it just goes back to swimming. Yeah, he won't shut the fuck up yeah. about the pool. <laughs> well, I you mean, brought it up. You we were just in Louisville. Up. That's true, you fuck. Friend. We were just in Louisville, <laughs> and I brought up a pool right out of the gate. Mm -hmm. And these guys were like, here we go. But the crowd kind of went crazy. The crowd knew exactly the pool. I was like, what kind of fucking weird backward state is this? Yeah. Where they so only dumb. talk about swimming pools. We now, are you, going everywhere, and I'm like, who's been to this pool? We're like, it's weird. Durs, do you believe in mermaids? <laughs> you know, I don't. I don't. I, I don't. And I won't. Why not? I just don't know what would happen if I did. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I Where, do. If you start believing in mermaids... Then what? Then what? Yeah. Well, do, are we, do we think that now that Tom DeLonge has proved that aliens are real? Right. right. Shout out. Tom DeLonge, the lead singer of Blink-182. Sorry, co-lead singer. People are furious. Yeah. 
Angels and Airwaves. Yeah. He, uh, his group, uh, To the Stars, just proved that aliens are real, and the government released all kinds of facts and footage. Did the fo- they, and prove, guess, did and they know, prove, or did they put pressure on the government? They put to pressure on the government, and then they released it. Yeah. And then it came out, and uh, no one gave a fuck. No. Right. <laughs> So, yeah, mermaids are real. Who gives yeah. a shit? Yeah, maybe they are. Yeah, I think I'd have a tougher time with mermaids than aliens. Aliens, I feel like, are just like, you know, they'll fit in, more yeah. or less, you know? Right? Casey? Right? I guess I'm just kind of like, I, I'd rather mermaids weren't real, and it was just some horny pirate's fantasy. I love that. Where he's like, I am on this boat, and I am so horny, I would fuck a fish with titties. Yeah. But I guess then also we don't know the power of a horny pirate. And I'm sorry, I, yeah. I don't want to assume anything. Of course, thank you. Who? And that's why you're. That's why I, I, I love you by my side, because you just check me sometimes when I'm flying thank off the handle. Thank yeah. you. Dude. Well, that's an, that's important to have as a sidekick and a teammate. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's it, and it's it, and I think he likes being a sidekick and he's fine with that. Yeah. I'm good. Mm. Now yeah. you guys are both. Uh, was you there get, ever a nurse, you, like a sidekick nurse on the Dr. Phil show? Uh, nurse, nurse, nurse Jenny. We had an episode where we had Siamese hermaphrodite twins. Uh, yeah, I remember. Might be the closest thing to a nurse. Sure. I had a guy that did CPR. Uh, <laughs> I forget. Just a dude? Just to do it. Well, it was a whole sweeps week of like, you know, let's stay ready, right? Yep. So how can you stay ready? Yeah. You know, stop, drop, and roll if you're on fire. Yeah. You what know, else? what to do if there's a bomb threat at your local Panera. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what's funny? We've all bomb threat and, and, and fire uh, prevention, same shit. Stop, drop, and roll. Yeah, that is funny. We'll be right back. <laughs> no, we'll keep it right here. We'll keep it right here. I do want to ask you guys before we uh, get into some... Well, fun. you don't want to ask me what, uh, what I laugh at? Yeah, dude. I can't believe I almost forgot that. And that's the whole reason we're here tonight. Well, you asked Durs, like, this important question about what he laughs at, and then... Yep. Sorry, once you start talking about the YMCA, I fucking blacked out. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Adam Devon, what makes you laugh? Because you're a funny guy. It's tough to get you to crack. I've seen you on all the uh, stuff, and you're usually the guy... Get... I saw you once at the NBA Awards make Shaquille O'Neal laugh. And that guy doesn't laugh. Uh, I don't think he's ever laughed until he met Adam. No, he laughs. He's a good laugher. All right, uh, he might laugh a little bit. No, my, mine is, uh, uh, my algorithm right now is just teenage boys fighting their teachers. <laughs> yeah, when they talk back, the teacher's like, where's your, where's your assignment, Derek? And he's like, suck my clit. Dude. Yeah. Dude, the new generation, they're Those are so funny. cool. They're so cool. They're so funny. They throw a desk at a teacher. They don't give that? a shit. Don't Just give a nothing fuck. but chairs thrown at their Just teachers. Just chairs and fucking double dares, right? Yeah. 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 Now, it's going to be a wild ride when we're a little older. It's uh, Well, when you're a dad, I mean, think about the fights that the people... One of my favorite YouTube rabbit holes is dads fighting at, like, t-ball games. Uh-huh. Uh, like dad v. dad? Dad v. dad. Yeah. <laughs> is that right? I forgot the title of the hole I was going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's not the first time I've said that this week. Okay. And that you find that on X Hamster or? I don't, I don't. Yeah. That, that is not what I'm looking for on X Hamster. It's weird that the porn site is named after I one swear. of the most uh, it's not. insufferable creatures. You'd think it would be just called, you know. Yeah, that is weird that it's named. Do you think it's after that urban legend about, uh, what's it? Richard Gere. Richard Gere. Richard Gere. And we all know what happened. Richard Gere did what, Casey? No idea. God fucking damn it, Casey. Wait, does he know who Richard Wait, Gere is? Do you know who Richard Gere is? He, just know, he knows the name. He's the guy who invented the gear. <laughs> He invented the gear. He invented the fucking take it up a notch. Yeah. Everyone was like, Richard, Fifth you've gear. been a pretty woman. You've been a sex symbol forever. How can you, in classic workaholics yep. fashion, yeah. make it weird, right? Mm-hmm. And he goes, well, how about if I take this creature that will later be named uh, a porno site and shove it up my ass? Yep. That's the urban legend. Is it Richard Gear? Okay, no one is on board. Let's move on. Uh, well, do we think that uh, he was like too... Like, that's the goal, right? Is get so famous that yeah. then they say, like, he has to shove gerbils up your ass? I, yeah. Do you think it was, like, a rival actor? Like, Dennis Quaid was like, oh, I'm I lost out on another part and was like, yeah. did you hear about the hamster up his ass, though? 
That's a good fucking. Uh, and then like Rod Stewart when uh, when Marilyn Manson had the rumor that he could suck his own dick was like fuck. Yes. I used to be the guy that could suck right. my own dick. Mates. Yeah. He would say mate. Yeah, mates, mates, mates. Right, mate. right, right, right. Would you would you guys do it if you could do it? Would I suck my own dick if I could? What no, would you go I? to fucking uh, Kinko's and make photocopies of your old resume? Yeah, suck your own dick, Durs. <laughs> the fuck you think I'm referring to? I feel like I would do it. It'd be like a three times a year thing where you're like, oh, why did I even do like that? Like a sweet treat. For, well, I feel like it'd be like... A Father's a, Day is sweet treat for it'd daddy. Be, it'd be like... Happy Father's Day. I like that, Adam. No, I can't believe I did that. And then four months later, you're like, you lose memory. You're like, uh, maybe it wasn't that bad. And then you do it again, and it's not great. I do it every damn day. Okay. And I'd get so good at it that I'd be like, do I share this gift? <laughs> do I share this gift? I'm too good. I got to prove my work. Yeah. I got to get into some kind of contest or And that's the difference between us. Yeah. It starts at start, the penis. Start at the penis. <laughs> you almost made my mustache fall off, Adam. How would that be possible? Uh, I don't think that's possible. <laughs> hey, CGI. Who's got a better mustache, by the way? Thank yeah, you. Yeah, good answer. Dude, real nice. strong. Psycho real face. strong. I'm growing my mustache for the first time. It's so blonde, dude. It sucks. Now, so you blonde. haven't had a beard. You've been clean-shaven baby face style for quite some time. What's yeah, and look like? at this. This is just sadness. Oh. <laughs> okay, still getting laughs, even when you're depressed. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Now, there is something to be said about, uh, you know, standing up for what's right, you know, having each other's backs. I think, uh, and that leads me to uh, you guys being there for your fans, so much so that we've Look at this had piece a few. Of paper. We've had a few. <laughs> we've had a few. We ran out of, uh, we ran out of paper. <laughs> uh, I got a couple questions from your fans. You guys want to read a couple questions from the fans? <laughs> oh, cool. It's okay. Um, so uh, this one's from uh, Eli, nine years old, and this is for Adam Devine. Okay. He says, Adam, I loved you in Modern Family. Uh, there he is with the goatee, what's up? What's the craziest place you've ever received oral sex? That's from Eli, nine years old, from uh, Sheboygan, uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Uh, oral sex. I mean, I think that's what he wrote, yeah. I don't know. I mean, he spelled it O-U-R-A-L-E, but he's fucking nine, so give him a break, right? At least he knows what it is. See, I don't know, because he's nine. Do you say, I don't do that? Or do you say it was in a, a classroom when I was, in, when I was a, a senior in high school? Holy shit, Bob. And was it the teacher? I was going to say, what a cool no teacher. No fucking way. And no, was no it wasn't. It wasn't. It was my girlfriend. That might be, yeah, that might be. Well, now, what do you think about teachers and kids uh, boning and, and, and pro? Fun? Super pro. Yeah. Super pro. Yeah. Hey, man, you know, yeah, if your buddy's hooking up with the principal, you know, that's on you for not fucking being better at kickball, right? Right. Kick what, whatever the kickball? saying is. Dr. Phil. This is at least at a, like, hacky sack level. Oh, well, I know you hacky, but can you sack? Yeah. We'll be, we'll be right back. No, we'll keep it here. We'll keep it here. I just we keep it here? Yeah. Can we keep it here? We'll keep it here, Durst. Right, let's keep it Good. here. Good. I want to keep it right here. <laughs> hey, but if we, we said we'll be right back, what would be the commercials I'd play during this? Well, we've got one more. Oh, shit. Hey, don't. Yeah. You want yeah, to but, hey, but just right explain here. what do you think the top three commercials would be if we went to... Break right now, Dr. Phil. Can we try that sense one more time? <laughs> <laughs> what would, you know, what what would the three appears. commercials be? Boy, that was a great ad for not drinking Coors Light. Am I right? What would the hey, how about the a fan, a fan, did you put it? Hey, you can't nah, dude, you just what can't What are your top hear three good, dude. commercials? You well. Uh, well, I can't hold my liquor like you can. Yeah. I'm, dude, let me tell you something. I've seen, I got to frequent an Adam Devine stand-up tour bus. I was in, I don't think it was Nashville. You guys let me come on. I think, who was it from the Black Keys was there? Uh, Patrick Carney, the drummer, was there. Yeah. Oh, man. That show was the tits uh, and the bits. And you guys... <laughs> 
you guys fucking brought it. But again, those fans are crazy. Durs, I mean, when your fans come up to you at the airport or the hot tub, what do they say to you? They go, check out my kickboard. And I'm like, swimming for life. <laughs> a lot of, really, you have a lot of... It's, a, it's very swimming specific when it comes to... But what about, but, but take me down memory lane, because workaholics, you guys were the king of catchphrases. We've got, let's get weird. We've got uh, tight butthole, loose right. butthole. Sure, of course. Uh, Keep it sleazy. Keep these it. aren't even catchphrases as much as they are just like uh, ways to live your life. Yep. You That's right. I mean? I'm glad you brought that up, Durs. Break down loose butthole and tight butthole for me. <laughs> I mean, I think we all know that like when something's going pretty damn good, it's tight butthole. Yep. Right? Keep it right, keep it tight. And when something's not going so great, it's a loose butthole. The cause of diarrhea. <laughs> okay. And by the way, it was funny when we wrote it the first time. <laughs> and now when my kid runs around the house saying it, it's kind of weird. Does he, does he it really? Got, it got weird. Do you let your kids watch your programs? No, I think they watched like the Muppet Show I did last year, but that's about it. That was fucking cool. What was it like to meet Dr. Teeth? Dude, it's a fucking trip. Preach. I'm, I'm well, who is Dr. Teeth? I'm Teeth now. Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem is the Muppet band from the okay. show. Okay, uh, I saw it. Dude. <laughs> it is just crazy being in their Rolodex now. Yeah, you're a part of the Muppet family, so to speak. Yeah, that's what Jim Henson's ghost said, yeah. R.I.P. Now that's a guy I'd love to meet. Here's actually the order of dead people I'd like to kick it with. And get, oh, here, we uh, here we go. Here we go. So if you no, came, hey, start at five and work your way down to one. You got it. So if I could get soup with any five dead people, living yep. or dead, I'd go. I'd go. Uh, I'd probably have to throw Jim Henson in there. Uh, he said he probably five. He's actually probably seven. So let's yeah. go. Okay, no. Six. Yes. We're going Bob Barker. Yeah, oh, hell yeah. Which, by the way, sorry to, too soon, Adam. You were I on know. Family Feud, and you didn't know who the fuck that was. It's not that I didn't know who it was. It's that I blanked on his name because I was high on methamphetamines. <laughs> Prove it. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, no, you can keep it. You can keep it to yourself. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Steve Harvey. I was just joking. Is Steve Harvey as cool as he looks? Yeah, he's cool, dude. Better mustache? I don't know. Debatable. We'll have to ask that crowd. Oh, we'll go know. Harvey all day. Durst, yeah. what about... The, the, the mustache. Harvey? Rank yep. the mustaches, Durst. Harvey Durs. or Dr. Phil? Or <laughs> top five mustaches now? <laughs> yeah. What about it? What a, yeah, he has a good mustache. We all know this. Dude, don't start with Durst. I'm sorry, dude. I've had half a Stay beer, back. dude. I'm going to fly off the handle. Stay back, dude. You don't strike me as a guy that would fight. And I'm not saying that as a threat. I'm I didn't say I, was gonna, I did not say I was going to fight. I said I was going to fly off the handle. And there, there is a difference. Which is a cool thing to say because everyone's like, I don't know what the fuck that means. Not prepared. Yeah. You gotta hang on to the handle. What's the handle? Well, the, yeah, the handle. You wanna know about his mustache? Yeah. It was great. All right. You're, you're welcome, Casey. I don't know where, I don't know where to go with that. Do you want me to hey, say, was hey, we'll be right back, and these are the top three commercials that are playing right now. Ready, go. Before we come back. And the first commercial is. If you've got nausea, heartburn, indigestion, indigestion upset stomach, 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 diarrhea. Yeah. And the next is... If you've got, uh, if you've got leaky uh, stuff, <laughs> go ahead and grab a Tampax uh, situation mm -hmm. and, sh and, put it, and put it where God told you to do it. <laughs> That's actually, like, too accurate. Yeah. That's actually my, one of my favorite commercials. And the third commercial is... Um, fuck. I, I, oh, shit. No, it's my new ringtone. A lot ring of profanity in what's this commercial. Bur what's that Burger King theme song? Uh, whopper, Whopper, something, something. BK. Have it your way. You, you rule, rule. You right. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. We, we didn't pay for that, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dude, sorry, sorry, sorry. My kids sing that song all day long. Do they really? Yeah. So it, baby so shark has been my replaced. Kids soccer teams cheer. And, and they, are they like, yo, take me to Burger King now? Or are they like, nah, oh. they don't fuck with that. Oh. Um, I mean, keep it real. It's trash. Um, but then I, I love also, a flame broil. I love no, a flame no, broil. No, you know, when's the last time you had BK? Anyway, I dropped them off in school, and on Next Friday question. they play music. And they played the fucking BK song, and I was like, kind of goes. 
How about this? We're gonna come back and play a game, and Adam, I'm gonna let you throw the commercial. He's drunk. He's, he's drunk. Oh, as soon as, oh, Alex, where are you going, dog? <laughs> Alex. He's like, I gotta take a shit. Al, dog, diarrhea. The cause of diarrhea. He did get up. Now, have you ever seen someone run out faster? Because I once shit my pants at an Olive Garden. True yeah. story. And Check man, the bathroom was the bathroom was all the way in the back. So I was, man, I was running through a labyrinth, and I saw David Bowie R.I.P. And I was just, and then all of a sudden the guy was like, "It's over there," and I was like, "What language is that?" Oh, cool. He was like kind of maybe Italian. Yeah, he was working right. at the Olive Garden. That's it. Yeah. Well, I don't do accents, and but it's like if you go on that way, you go straight to the castle. Yeah. Have you sure. shit your pants? Be honest. Yep. Yeah. Where? Uh, it was one of the first times I ever did stand up, uh, and I was at a, a comedy or a bar called Dirty Nellie's yep. in Orange County. You you might have been there. I've seen. And there. Uh, it was the first time I was ever going to do 30 minutes, which is a big deal when you're a stand up. And I coughed right before going up, and a perfect log shot out of my ass into my underwears. And then I was like, oh no. And they're like literally going like, we really like this kid, we think he's funny. And I grab a bar Time napkin. Time for your big break. And I reach down my pants and I pull it out unscathed. Oh. And, and I put it in. There's no way. A potted plant. And then I could walk on stage because they just said my name. And then I do 30 minutes in a rip really well. And then at the end, I was just so confident that I was like, Thank you guys so much. You know, I was really nervous coming up here. This is my first time uh, headlining a show at a shitty bar. Uh, headlining a show. Thank you so much. I, I was so nervous that I actually shit in that potted plant before coming on stage. And then some guy went over and he's like, he shit in the potted plant. He shit in the potted plant. Let's fucking go. And then the crowd of like 30 people were like. <laughs> right. This is a place called Dirty Nellie's. Yeah, dude. It was just Lost their fucking different. minds. And I was like, it's only going to go up from here. And I was wrong. Hey, Steven, come here for a second. Steven, turn around, face the crowd real quick. Steven, have you, Steven stop doing that with your hands, okay? Steven, have, just yes or no question. Have you ever shit your pants? Yes. Everybody shit their pants. Yeah, of course. It's normal. Where did you do it? In this I don't pits. remember. Probably in my car. Oh, shit. All right, you can sit back down. That was disgusting. Probably, yeah. Probably. Thanks so much, Steven. Probably in his car. Huh. Yeah. We'll also accept definitely inside and around his car. Well, yeah. that means it happens kind of a lot. Because oh, I, yeah. I wrote, my story was vivid. Right. Of me shitting my pants. Well, his, was, his was very general in a place where you're like... Yeah, it was like, uh, maybe driving my car on the way here. Yeah. Or... You're in a thing uh, that can take place. While the first comic shit. was up, or well, have you ever had to poo and you're driving like on the freeway and you're speeding real fast and the next exit's maybe 20, 30 miles away and so you think to yourself, do I go full Steven or <laughs> do I just try to you know fast and furious my way to the next exit? And right. once you hold your poo back in and make it, you feel like a fucking superhero. We'll be right back. <laughs> We're gonna keep it right here. We're actually gonna throw it to a commercial break. We'll be right back with Adam Devine and Anders Hall. Make some noise for him real quick. We'll be right back. We got one more commercial. We are going to be right back. Yeah, we are. It's time to go to infinity and beyond with Disney's brand new sexually frustrated Buzz Lightyear. Take him out of the box, smile, and high five your friends. Extend his wings, spoon with him, and lose your fucking mind. It's time to take flight and soar into the space galaxy above. Yeah! Relive all your favorite moments from the movie. You're my best friend, Buzz. Touch my dick. Huh? <laughs> and comes with all your favorite catchphrases. To the titty bar and beyond. What do you mean you've never seen Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? Hey, we should totally get your dog high. Mom? The Toy Story Collection Sexually Frustrated Buzz Lightyear. Whether you like it or not, he's coming down to Earth to do what he does best. Be your friend. Batteries not included, other figures each sold separately. Of course I have Coke, but you gotta find it, bitch. Wow. Wow. 
Well, look at you. That was impressive. One more time for Adam Devine and Anders Holm here at the Dr. Phil Live Show. You guys having a good time so far? This might be the greatest night of my fucking life. I fucking love you guys. I fucking... You got Thank fucking you, cookies and beer. And also doctor. with you. Quick shout out to your uh, manager, Isaac Horn, in the house for uh, keeping things uh, filthy. Big Still shout out to Isaac. Isaac. Now, the, uh, the, uh, the tour is, uh, is Banana City right now. You guys are going to every city, basically, uh, that the United States provides. Has, yeah, that they have. That's, yeah. that's correct. Is there a favorite city uh, right now that you've been to or that you're looking forward to attending? Mm. Uh... Austin, maybe? Oh, I yeah. Think. Yeah, Long yeah. Beach was sick. Uh, Arizona was tight. Phoenix, specifically. Phoenix. Shout out. Chicago Phoenix. was cool. Adam got to go to my family's I went to his home, home, his childhood home. The Honors uh, Estate. Yeah. yeah. What uh, What sort of weird shit do they have in the fuck? Like, you know, mom's always got, like, pasta bowls and stuff. Yeah, she had a, yeah. She had a yeah. doll salon. She had a who? A bunch of dolls getting their hair done in a... <laughs> Like voodoo dolls? Honestly, he could just be honest and it's, it's still funny. Wait, does your mom collect weird knickknacks? Because I know Adam's mom has like signs that, like funny catchphrase signs, right? Not even. You're just like, oh, she's an alcoholic. It's like, it's wine o'clock somewhere. <laughs> yeah. The Gotta drink wine okay. by the lake. <laughs> the sign makes it okay. Uh, no, it's just my house is like, it's like empty. They're like old. They're trying to downsize. You know yeah. what I mean? It's kind of sad, guys. Oh. Yeah, I know. One, two, three. Oh. Old parents. Yeah, my favorite thing about getting old is just like not giving a fuck, you know? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Like, I remember my, uh, my grandma when I was a kid, you know, she, I remember the first time she showed me um, one of those dinosaur uh, movies, right? Yeah, like Ooh. Godzilla or something. Yeah. And I remember I was watching it. Durs is in a Godzilla show. That's how his weekend I'm, I'm, I'm not promoting that. Are yeah. you in a Godzilla movie? Hey, I'll promote it for him. He's in he's in a show on Apple that's coming out. Guys, give it make some fucking noise. Well, when does the show come out? He can't say because of SAG after because these rules that bind us. Um, yeah. You know, I mean ex hamter Did you say rules like that, that bind us? dust? No, bind, but, but I should have said but Biden know, does. But they, they fucking... Yeah, Biden thanks, does. thanks, Biden. Biden does sounds like a new drug. I'd definitely smoke that. Yeah, I'd yeah. fucking yeah. snort yeah. some Biden. Biden does, it makes you fucking, you know, give directions or something. It I makes you immediately go like... Uh. Yeah, whatever he's on... My Corvette. <laughs> well, my, my Corvette... My thing about Biden is that it's like when, he, when they asked him, like, hey, what's the... Uh, What's your focus like? And he was like, I'll drive a Ford Focus. <laughs> I'll take you to Jumanji, chicken or beef, fart or queef. And I was like, that wasn't even the question, Joe. Right, yeah. right. He's but, kind of cool. But it is kind of cool. Heart. Bless his heart. And also bless Mitch McConnell's heart, because if you freeze and you're not an X-Men character, you know, it's time to go back to bed. I think anyway. his heart is fine. Will you bless his, will you bless his brain? Plus his brain. But I'm excited to get that old. You guys are still uh, fucking and trucking, so we're going to play a little game. Is that cool with you guys? Play the game? I would love that. Yeah. So this game, it's one of my favorite new games. It's never been played, uh, but it's based on your podcast called This Is Important. Sick. Cool. Thanks. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, I listen to uh, Maria Menounos' podcast. Oh, what's hers about? Oh, she just, uh, fuck, I don't remember, but she, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for putting me on this yeah. spot. That's Jesus. much like our podcast. Yeah, yeah. We don't really remember. That's not true. You guys have a flow. Sure, we have a flow, but afterwards you're like, what the fuck did I just listen to? Yeah. yeah. I do. My parents love just supporting me, and I just had to preface. I'm like, they're like, what's it about? How can I explain it to my friends? And I'm like, we basically just talk about assholes for like an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. And, and then you hear just commercials for like dude wipes. Now, what are those? Dude, you got to get some dude wipes. What are dude Specifically, wipes? dudes need their own specific thing to wipe their ass. Yeah. I've read about Enough this. Enough of this chick things to wipe their asses. Dude? They need dude wipes. Now, where do you use the wipe at? <laughs> On your butthole, dude. Dr. Phil. Well, I'm using TP, so there's a separate wipe. I got to do it twice. Yeah, but hey, TP, that's feminine. Oh, did so you if you're that. a man, you use dude wipes. Yes. Steven, come here. Didn't you know? Here we go. Come here. Here we go. Here we go. Flip around for me. Don't do the fucking hand thing or I'll fucking slit your throat. All right. 
Stephen, have you heard of Dude Wives? Absolutely. All right, thanks, Stephen. Yeah, he knows. Oh, yeah? Thank you so and much. You know, I could tell by looking at him. Yeah, that's a guy that wipes after he pees. Um, hey. That's a compliment. At, at, a, at a certain point in life, you have to. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. This guy knows. <laughs> what did he say? He said dribble, dribble. <laughs> And he ain't talking about hoops, mama. <laughs> so what does dribble, dribble mean? Like at a certain point, because I'm much, 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 much younger than you, Dirt. Right. And as a younger man, I, I'm not, I don't sh piss or shit my pants? What's happening with the dribble, dribble? No, 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 you just gotta, like, there's just, you know, something, it's just, maybe it's, uh, it's, maybe it's, there's some left. Well, so you don't helicopter your cock before... Look, you tuck as it back the saying in your goes, no matter how much you shake, no matter how much you dance, the last drop always lands in your pants. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. A, woman, a woman said pants, so I don't know what just happened. Well, I think... Where now, are my could, guys you, at? could you buy a woman wipe and use it on a man body, or is that like... And then what? I don't know. I was just trying to make Kids small talk. Kids are cats in schools? Yeah, honestly, I'm offended, dude. Jesus! Thank you. And go to dudeswipe.com. <laughs> it's dudes... <laughs> dudes wipe. Go to, what is it, dude wipe? If you go to wipe. dudeswipe.com, it's a whole different thing. It's a whole different thing. <laughs> the thumbnails are... Yeah, you could go to X Hamster to check that one out. All right, so let's play a game. Your podcast, This Is Important, talks about the real issues, or at least it tries to. Yeah. So we're going to play a game called This Is Important or Not Important, where I give you a topic, and we, uh, you, get, you, get to, you have to answer, is it important or not? And the winner will get a prize. So are you guys ready to play? All right. I can't fucking sure. hear you. You guys ready to play? Yeah. Have a fun yeah. little game. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let's play This Is Important or Not Important. DJ, hit me. This is important or not important. Did it do? All right. That was fucking worth the 16 bucks. And also with God, you. Fucking damn it. With you. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys a topic. And you, uh, you tell me if it's important or not, and you can elaborate if you want, Durs, or not. Okay. We got a little foam action. Leave it. No, I don't. <laughs> That's confidence right yeah. there. Oh, this? <laughs> that ain't foam. <laughs> what does that mean, dude? I can't wait. I can't wait to... Uh, I just can't wait. All right. All right, first topic. Who a Kardashian is dating? This is important or not important? Ve no, shut up! <laughs> shut the fuck up! Oh boy, oh boy. This is well, what did sensitive. you say, not? Okay, then you were right. You were right. Yeah, I feel like it's not that important, okay? Durs? Um, which Kardashian? Ooh. Rob. <laughs> that, that is important. The sock dude? Yeah, dude. Yeah. I got some socks from Rob one time. Dude, go on. Who's I he worked dating? out I worked out at the same gym and it was like a kickboxing gym. So a lot of times you're like in your socks and shit, you're not in your shoes. Right. And he's like You're not you're not in I, your shoes? Go ahead. You're not in your shoes, you're yeah. just in your little socks, walking around the gym. And then he saw my socks, he's like, bitch. Yeah. I gotta get you some new socks. Right. So I got some Rob Kardashian socks, dude. Uh I called my agent, so I'm like, don't even put me out for anything. I'm retiring after this. Don't. It's all down here after Rob Kardashian socks. Just, uh, yeah, but don't say it like that. Okay, Rob's yeah. a cool guy. No, he's fine. Hey, but also, I'll... Adam, maybe, maybe don't work out at Rob Kardashian's gym and work out at, like, <laughs> Kendall's gym. Uh, nah, me and Rob belong in the same Chloe's place. Pretty, <laughs> Chloe Kardashian, pretty yoked. No, it Chloe's made, it made the most sense when he walked in. I'm like... This is my kind of place. Right. Right. Because he's it's slightly us. overweight. What's up? Yeah, but we're all trying to do our best. But, you yeah. know, Chloe's like 6'10 and could play for the Raiders. She's fucking huge. Yeah. Well, here's Jack. How, how tall is she? Because she's 6'11 on paper. But isn't Kim like 5'2? On that paper, two? On this paper, I wrote Don't trust anything. Oh Don't God. trust I anything on that paper. paper. Like, are the, did you borrow that from the Goonies? <laughs> like... Drink five if you're playing the Goonies drinking game at home. Where Every time Durs mentions Sean Aston. Papyrus. It does look like the treasure map uh, where they, what was it, One-Eyed Willie or Wet-Eyed? Yeah. Yeah. 
All right. Uh, Sister Copperfuck. Go ahead. What's your favorite line from Goonies? My favorite line from Goonies? All right, I thought it was a good question. Um, I mean, the one I that... I guess I, it's got to be Bye Bye Marbles. Yep. You know, it's a turning point. It's yeah. very exciting. That's a rider. Mine is the, my favorite character that they would never allow in a movie ever again, which is Sloth saying, hey, you guys. Yeah. They're not going to allow that, which it's sucks. It's classic obvious. That Sloth's no longer going to be in movies, and I feel for them because I'm maybe a cousin. Well, I'm in the Sloth family for sure. What's crazy about the guy who played Sloth is that's, uh, that's Tom Bergeron, the America's Funniest Home Videos host. Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't yeah. know that. In full prosthetic. That's where he got wow. started. Uh, you can Google it. Next uh, topic. This is important or not important. In sync touring again. Dude, super important. And yeah. I would know here, and I would like for Dr. Phil to sing us their new single. Yeah. yeah. Hit us with it. DJ, hit me. Hit him. Perfect. <laughs> We're living this life. We're fighting the fight. We got Joey Fatone to my right. And JC Chavez. And Chris Kirkpatrick. And Timberlake. Recently, they said he and Britney had a abortion or something. Um, True. That song sounded better in my head. By the way, we've already covered that on our podcast in real life. The Instinct Tour? The new song. So the tour, we covered it. Yeah, it's pretty topical. Okay, let's move on. Well, I'm excited. That's important. I'd be more excited if 98 Degrees got back together. Yeah, we talked about that too. Did you really? There's a long list. I mean, if O Town got back together, the world would shut down. Banks would close. Remember O Town single? Hit it, DJ. Do, 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 do. Oh, butterfly, sugar, baby. Oh, that was it, actually. No, it's not. Oh, that's shit. a different. That's a different group. O Town. Who is butterfly, oh, sugar, baby? Crazy town. Crazy town. A different town. One town over. <laughs> do you think O Town and Crazy Town like met each other at the MTV Pardon. Awards and were like? Fucking Dude, do you remember do when we met, we met these guys that are in a band and they come up to us and we were backstage at some MTV event and it yeah. was right when Workaholics came out and they come up to us and they go, we're fun. <laughs> and I go, yeah, you guys seem cool. Yeah, we're like, okay. They're like, yeah, you guys are cool and they're going, no, we're fun. And I go, you seem pretty fun to me. <laughs> yeah. And they were in that band fun, dude. Right. Hey, what's the fun song? We're young. Hey, no, she, we're young. young. It's Jack Antonoff. Yes, yeah, so. Right? That's yeah. the name of the guy, uh-huh. right? But when, uh, you sing it. You sing it. Yeah. Get her. Come on. So. Oh, my God, her voice. Her voice is crazy. <laughs> Why don't you... Hey guys, be cool. She's about to sing for the first time in front of. Yeah, I want to say I'm back with numbers. Come on, a little bit of support. Twenty-five thousand people in front of twenty-five thousand screaming I'm bad with numbers. Fans. But this seems like twenty-five thousand. This people. is your moment. This is your moment. Don't fuck it up. Some nights I stay up. Oh yeah. Oh shadows. I've been in multiple singing movies. So. <laughs> You have. I do like that she went from like the beginning as opposed to just like the hook. We are young and I set the world on fire. You know her. Yeah, as soon as I got that. Yeah. I'm a little starstruck because I dressed up as Bumper last year for Halloween. Shit. (laughs) Oh, damn. What, you just were like a little chubby with bad hair and a striped shirt? Yep. Yeah, tight. (laughs) All right. That's how I live my life. This is important or not important. There have been reports that robots will be able to feel feelings by 2028. Uh, super important. Yeah, dude. Dude, that's important. Yeah, that's important. Because I'm like, how do they do because, that and I don't? Yeah. I mean, honestly. How's that possible? And it also ought to be fun to like bully a robot, to be like, you fat bitch. Whoa. Look at you, you're so dumb, dude. Whoa. You don't know all of Google and Bing? Or whatever another nope. search engine is. No, nope, Bing is still like around, I think. Yeah, right. That checks out. Yeah. This is important or not important. Butt stuff in the bedroom. 
I would say that's important on like fun holidays. Okay, and like, like your Shabbat. birthday, like maybe spice it up. But I, I wouldn't say that's a, a very f important thing on just a Tuesday. Yeah. Right. I, I, Unless I, it's a little holiday in your bedroom, you know? Okay. Steven, come here for a second. Get up here. Here we go. Turn around for me, Doc. Steven, have you ever uh, engaged in anal activities? Absolutely. Wow. Thank you so much, Steven. Thank you so much. Steve Dow. By the way, Jesus. Duh. Yeah, freaking. And also, I love your much. Book. Steve, um, the shirt. Yeah, like, what's the story there? You collect you shirts? You collect these. Well, we all collect shirts from time to time, Steve. Sorry, and like, I'm not even, this isn't, I guess I'm just kind of, it's very unique. I don't, I don't know if I've seen anything like it before. Robert Graham, are you on Instagram? Uh, Steven? Instagram? That's funny. That's great. Are you on Robert? That's great. That's comedy. Points? Yeah, that's points. Points, yes. Yes, points! All right, now, uh, tonight, tonight has been uh, clearly the most fun night we've ever had in our entire lives. Yep. Did you guys agree? And, it's been a... And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, it was a you guys have fans all over the world. Obviously, we packed the house with, the, with your guys' people tonight. But a friend of mine is a big fan, and I'd like to bring him back out if that's okay, because he's got a question for you that oh, I told please. him I'd let him. So please welcome back to the stage uh, uh, Reginald Fontaine the third. Please let him hear it one more time. Reginald Fontaine. Reginald. And see, this is what's cool is like, our fans, if, if I were to close my eyes and draw a photo of what our fans look like, Right. It's this guy. Yeah. It's just like a Rob Report subscription situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, for you guys not laughing, you can't afford what Rob Report has in it. That riff was brought to you by DudeWipes.com. Great. You pay attention. Now, Reginald, you said you're a big fan of these fellas. Uh, the biggest. And you said, you, no, if you don't know about Reginald, he's a producer, investor, friend of mine with a lot of cash money. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's got okay. 99 problems, but uh, money's not one. Well, it's a, he's got some debt, but he's, he's getting out of it. Yeah. There he goes, There's a little treat. Jesus, dude. Pre, oh. pre Halloween. For the well, baby. Congratulations, thank by you. the way. Thanks. Yeah, love it. Thanks. So, uh, thank Reginald, you. when you're ready, go ahead and ask your question to the fellas. Now, uh, you both have done a lot of voiceover work in your time, you know, Family Guy, American Dad. I mean, you were Leo, Leonardo, for God's sake, in a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cartoon on some people. Holy oh, right. shit. Yeah. yeah? Wait, were you really? Yeah, whatever Ninja Turtles movie you've seen, I've been Leo in all of them. You want to hear my impression of Master Splinter overdrawing his account at Chase? Yeah. There you go. Fuck you. Yep. That's Master Splinter finding out that he ran out of that money. Good. Yep. That's good. Durs, that's incredible. Dr. Phil, that's great. Thank you. Go ahead with your question, Reginald. Who would like to see the four of us do a human centipede on Sunday? Okay. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. No. That is safe. Centipede! Centipede! Um, centipede! You know, no, 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 that is bullshit. No, hey, yeah. hey, you've been embarrassing me for long enough, and I'm tired of this. Oh my, oh my God, oh, oh my God. Oh my God, this got really fine. They're hitting me. Oh. Whoa. oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God, and it all seems so real. Oh my god! Oh shit! Little piss bullets. Oh! oh piece of shit. The bomb on. No, that's Dr. what you Phil. get for fucking up. Wow. Hey, whoa, whoa! Take yep, a pill. No Phil. sound there. No sound there. Hey, also, Doctor Phil. Come on, Dr. Steve. Phil, you gotta cut those. <laughs> you gotta cut. Sometimes, the... sometimes you just go ahead. Just the, the back of your coat, you got it. Oh, oh, fuck. No, do your thing. Hold on, hold that thought, Durs. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> hey, try it, Adam. Come on, go for it. It's a lot of fun.
Jesus. Oops. Jesus. Wait, wait, right. wait, wait, wait. Hey. Is this what you guys Oops. came <laughs> Oh my God. All right, that's it. Steven, come on up. Come on. Come on up, Steven. Give me a hand. Get him up here. Get him up here. No, no. Yeah. Get it. Yeah. Get him, Steven. Get him. Yeah. Steven. 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 Thanks so much. Dude, Thanks so much. Why do I have like? Down. Why do I have the sneaky That's suspicion Joe. that Steven is like the owner of Blu-ray? You know what I mean? That. Like some sneaky cash. If, if he was like, what's going on? Yeah. I started Oakley's. You'd be yeah. Like, oh, yeah. He's like, you know drywall? That's me. That's my thing. Yeah, he I'm definitely Steven drywall. He definitely invested in a Jamba Juice franchise. <laughs> And can quote like most Home Alone movies, right? Yeah. He's like, I own 87 Hardys. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, one more time for Steven, everybody. Steven. That was yeah. He has the meats. Now, Steven, Steven is actually uh, reminding me of something um, that's kind of important that we've learned tonight. And that's. Uh, Doesn't really work anymore. <laughs> that's a little thing called trust. We talked about it uh, at the start of tonight's show, and it can't be uh, developed without uh, a mental fortitude and a willingness to commit to perfection. And I just made that up, but I think it's true. And I think as our guest tonight proved, it, uh, it takes one to know one, but sometimes it takes four to make fun. Not the band, but the, uh, the friendship. Am I right, Adam? Absolutely. Thanks, Adam. And I think that you know, whether or not you, you know, pay attention to Durs's swimming tales, I think he's proven uh, more often than not that he uh, puts his money where his mouth is and he steps up to the streets too and he's funny on every occasion, not because he has to be, because he wants to be. Give it up for Durs real quick. Give it up for Durs, everybody. Big shout out. And I think that what these boys and what Kyle and Blake have proved over time is that if you want to, you can, okay? Shit, I'll go to a 24-hour fitness, uh, you know, uh, at 11 p.m., and they'll tell me, well, we closed at 10, and I go, well, it says 24 hours. <laughs> and I'll, you know, and I'll, fi I'll fight the guy behind the counter, you know? And that's actually where I met Casey. Good to see you again, Casey. He used to work at a 24-hour on Sunset and Vine, and... Uh, Let's just say he put me in a chokehold and I Stevened in my Hyundai Tucson on the way home. Jesus. But I want us all to remember one important thing. Choices beget choices, okay? And it's, it's healthier to be comfortable in your own skin than it is to be uh, at a Taco Bell KFC, uh, you know, trying to suck somebody off to get an extra bean... Br I forget how the saying goes, but it's... there's. But as my friend Reginald Fontaine III has proven, friends are good. Uh, and, but make sure you got the right friends. Isn't that right, Durs? I gotta go take a shit. Thanks, Durs. Um, but I think if we just all stick together, then we're gonna be okay. And who's, who said that? I did, motherfucker. Yeah, I did. Did you guys have a good time tonight? Did you guys have a fucking good time tonight? Make some noise, make some noise. One more time for Honors Hope, Adam Devine, and Reginald Buford Fontaine III. I love you guys. Yo, Robin, I hope you're still awake because I'm coming home with butt plugs. Good night, everybody. Yeah.